Guys, we are in Taiwan and we just had the craziest day. Welcome to a brand new Taiwan adventure. This time I'm joined by my good friend Clark. In this crazy video series, we're going to be exploring the unknown city of Chai then heading to the tropical island paradise of Penghu. We started our adventure taking the speed train from Kaohsiung to Chai Yi. Once we arrived in Chai Yi, we jumped in a car and headed out for lunch. Chai Yi is known as the city surrounded by mountains, and instantly I could see why. Don't worry about it, Clark. We're gonna have some chicken! We have just come across a really nice restaurant. Not really sure where we are, but we are certainly in chicken heaven. <laughs> We're in the restaurant right now, super cool, really big, really busy, but we actually have here is green tea. Yeah, from Ali Shan. Green tea from Ali Shan, which is the mountain we're going up in a minute. Josh. Oh, thank you, guys. I... Oh. Oh, I see how it is. This is a good cheese. So juicy. That is so delicious. Super tender. A little bit barbecuey as well. We've been eating some food and there's this really delicious pancake that I've been eating, really enjoying. I just found out that it's made from bee larva. Bee larva, that's so cool. That's something I've never tried before. But I can tell you what, it doesn't taste like insect or anything. It tastes amazing. But it's made from baby bees. I've been eating baby bees. That is crazy. After our bee pancakes, we headed up the winding roads to Ali Shan Mountain. Guys, so we are on top of a mountain. We're at Ali Shan Mountain. Ali Shan? Yeah, Ali Shan. Fen Qi Hu. This is Fen Qi Hu train station right now, which is a very iconic place in this mountain. We've just been driving through the landscape. It is a beautiful area. Taiwan exclusive. This is the Iron Egg. We're just walking down the sort of side streets of Ali Shan. Yeah. We came across this stall selling these eggs. So they're actually gravy eggs. So let's give them a try and see what they're like. Similar to a tea egg. It's actually really nice. It's quite refreshing. It's pretty good. I like it. It's a great snack. It's excellent. <laughs> you don't like? Mm. This jelly here comes from this fruit that looks like a porcupine or a hedgehog. Pretty crazy. Before, after. village area sort of where we're exploring at the moment is so peaceful. It is a tourist destination but it has a very local vibe. Not very many people here honestly like walking around. The train station has quite a few people but then after that we're here midday and it's pretty quiet and you feel like you've just stumbled across 
a really beautiful quaint mountain village. It's amazing. It's super beautiful and just the clouds rolling over the hills. It's a beautiful place. So if you want to come up here, I really recommend it. It's I Taiwan Travel. There's only one bus company that comes up here actually. So if you want to come up and experience this and you don't have a taxi, then make sure to check them out. You can use the app. I'll put it just here. Super beautiful place, really worth checking out. My battery just died on my camera, so we are switching to my phone which I am very surprised by the sexy quality it has. We just ordered these donuts. They look amazing. They made it when you order, so it's ah, really fresh. Yes. Super and fresh. Hot. Super hot, yeah. Oh my goodness, orgasm. So we had just finished exploring the Ali Shan village up in the mountain. We were just driving down through the winding roads and we came across two beautiful rope bridges. So now we're gonna go, the sun is setting. I mean, come on, so amazing. Nice, honey. It was the end of a long travel day, and me and Clark were feeling pretty tired. But lucky for us, we were staying at the beautiful Lan Kwai Fung Garden Hotel, located in the heart of Chai Yi City. It was the perfect place to recover and get some rest. But we couldn't rest for long because right beside it was one of Chai Yi's biggest night markets. So with the moon out, it was time to explore Chai Yi's local cuisine. What is this night market? The name is Wen Hua Lu. Wen Hao Lu. Yi Shi. Ye Shi. Night, night market? Ye Shi. Ye Shi. Wen Hao Lu. Ye Shi. Forget it, man. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna go fill our stomachs with some amazing deliciousness. Taiwan is known for its food, and today we are going exploring yes. with these little, little, little butt. I already see a stall behind us that is super popular. We are trying that famous tou hua, I don't know how to say tofu, it's a tofu thing, I don't know how to say it in English, but the tou hua is really famous here, that's in the queue, that's why people wow. like getting in the queue. We're sitting just at the side of the street, just at the end of the night market, watch. Yeah. Motorbikes just passing by, it's crazy. So let's give this tofu pudding a try. I just spilt it everywhere. <laughs> this hot weather, hot, humid weather. We have this kind of bowl. So good. And I love the ambience where we're eating. It's really, really, really cool. Like you're just in an alleyway. Been walking. Clark just bought some chicken. Chicken chop. How do you say in Mandarin? Ji pai. Ji ba ji pai. Ba ji pai. And I bought. Ji ba ji ba. And I got a sausage, which is how do you say? 
香肠，香肠很好吃吗 ？Let's find out. <laughs> the sausage is perfect. We ended the day listening to the sizzling food and clanking pots found at Wenghua Road Night Market. While exploring, we came across an OK convenience store converted to a foodie battleground. Packed with stalls and tables, this seemed to be a local favorite. We picked up our dinner and headed back to the hotel. On the way, we came across a pancake vendor who seemed to be serving pancakes taken straight from heaven. Of course, we had to pick up some for dessert. With the bustle of the neon streets, it was the perfect time to reflect on our first day in Taiwan. From the tops of mountains to the pavement of the street, it had been quite an adventure, and yet it was only just the beginning. Oh.